Hey everyone, this is Frugal Panda here with a quick review of the Easy Longer CPAP battery uh, backup or a power bank. It's 72,000 mAh's power bank. You can use it with the ResMed S9, the AirSense 10, which I believe are CPAPs. I do not use a CPAP, so I used it like I would use um, all my power banks for camping, uh, work, and stuff like that. And I really do actually use them a lot at work. Uh, to be honest with you, sometimes there's not plugins, but it's easy to keep my stuff plugged in when I have a power bank with me. So, real quick unboxing of it. Not really much to it. Uh, everything's there. It's got a lot of different like adapters to utilize with this. My one issue with it would be the actual bag it comes in. I wish the bag was just a little bit bigger um, because it's really hard uh, packing all the stuff in there. Of course, the charger's not going to pack in the actual uh, bag that the power bank comes in. So everything was well packaged. It came with the instructions. The instructions were easy to understand too when I actually do read the instructions on something. But they were easy to understand. The power bank itself is pretty heavy. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty big chunk. It's, uh, I would guess, got about 24 18650s or so batteries in it. 24 of them or more in there at least because it's really heavy in comparison. And later on in the video, see me compare it to a 20,000 mAh uh, power bank. The links will be in the description. Cigarette lighter, USB-C. It has the regular old USB ports, another USB-C. Uh, all the ports work on it. Um, the cigarette lighter, I don't know, what would I really use it for? Me, honestly, I wouldn't really use it that much. I use the USBs and the USB-C connectors on it. You can see the lights on it, white, red. Light, uh, the light's pretty bright for what it is. Definitely in an emergency situation. It's definitely well more than adequate. A lot of them that have these on there, those lights are real wimpy. But the battery, um, the battery, the light itself on this one was pretty strong. And I really, I don't say I like the red light better than anything. But I just wanted to have a little back backlight or something like that. So charging it with actually what I'm using right now, which is my microphone. So utilize my microphone, plugged it in, get charges it. There's the size of it and compares to a 20,000 mAh. Of course, the weight is way different in regards to this one in comparison to the 20,000 mAh little power bank like that. Um, so there's definitely a difference in size. So that's, if you've seen a 20,000, you've seen a 10,000 mAh. The only difference between the two is uh, the 20,000 is a little more thicker. Now let's show the size comparison to a steam deck and an actual power uh, 20,000 mAh power bank too. So you can see the difference that, that 72,000 mAh easy longer is almost as big and is I think a little bit wider than the actual my steam deck now one thing I'll say about it it will show slow charging a lot of times when you're charging your steam deck but I can tell you this for a fact and oh by the way I tested this for a full 30 days a minimum and this is almost uh, at least three to four days a week at work a lot of times this kept my steam deck charged a lot of times they can't keep up with the steam deck and so what happens after a while you start getting low charge because it takes more power out of the power bank uh, than the steam deck, um, than the power bank can put out. So it takes more out of it. And so it starts running out of uh, power quicker, the actual steam deck, even though your power bank's not actually dead. Uh, but this one actually kept mine like practically fully charged. Like I didn't get the uh, low charge after 30 days. I mean, after uh, four or five hours of heavy gaming. As you see, let's plug in a humidifier. This is my little port of a humidifier. What I'm showing you is stuff I take to work with me. When I work night shift, a lot of times at one of my jobs, and one of my jobs, I sleep. It's a sleeping position. So when I go in there, after a couple hours, I actually go to sleep as part of the job. I plug in my humidifier. I got my iPhone, my, um, excuse me, my iPad going. So this is stuff I actually use on a daily basis, usually at least three to four times a week minimum. And actually the last 30 days, I've utilized it probably because I've been working a lot to be prepared to go back on vacation uh, five days a week, five to six days a week. So these get used. As you can see, it charges it. No big deal here. Uh, and it keeps a uh, charge in it. And I would not charge this every day. So it did not run out like after a day, even having all my different stuff plugged in. It would last a whole week or more before I decide to plug it in when it gets down around two bars or so. And that's with a fan running all night that's plugged into my iPad. Uh, that's having running a humidifier all night, that little mini humidifier you saw and everything. And even then, it was not dead. I just start charging up after it got down about three bars. And I'm using, what I'm using is all the propri uh, proprietary um, cables that came with it. It came with lots of cables. 
as you can see, it's charging one of my smaller power banks. I don't know if that's a 10,000 or 20,000. Let's test it, the wireless charger on it. That's the wireless charger right there. Now, one thing about the wireless chargers, uh, if you got a magnet on the back, they mess with them. I didn't realize that back in the day when I used to put magnets on them. And if you got super thick ones, it's really hard for the wireless chargers to work with them. Uh, but it does work. That was an iPhone XR. That was actually my spouse's. I had to use hers because I'm recording with mine, and it worked great. And as you can see, utilizing, plugging that in, keeps all my stuff charged. Yes, I would take this with me on a trip just because of the size. What I would probably end up taking with me if I didn't want to take a bunch of stuff is I would say take or a, a mini camping trip where I don't really need a lot. I take the 72,000 mAh, this one, and then I would throw in the 20,000 uh, mAh um, power bank too. So I'd have two, my, a big boy like this and my small one. There is my rechargeable flashlight, lantern. Uh, of course, it's charging it, and that's what I would take for a couple of days. And it can actually run off and be charged off my solar panel, too. And I did test it. I didn't get any video of it, but it actually did work off my little um, folding um, actual solar panel. So that was good to go on that. But it's a good size. Um, it can fit in your backpack, stuff like that. Here's another lantern for you so you can just see. And I didn't turn it on. It just automatically came on when you actually... Um, plugged in the cable so that was that was a plus to some of my older ones you have to turn them on power them on for them to actually recognize hey i need to charge something here's a i'm just showing you all the different stuff that i could i charged with it there's a simple mouse and plugs in self-explanatory there's of course the steam deck charging i want you to see it and this like i said this is the the heaviest use it will get probably in its lifetime would be my steam deck Believe it or not, the Steam Deck takes a lot of power when you're playing heavier games. So uh, just being able to maintain the charge is a big deal. And I have played like my heavier games with no problem and no issues with it. And it worked great. So I had no issues with it. And that's what I actually really liked about it is it was able to help maintain the charge much better than any of the others I have. So there's another look at it. Look at the front of the wireless charger. Works great. The light works great. It, hey, it's pretty cool. It's going to go with me on some camping trips. Everyone, this is Frugal Panda. Thanks for watching. That's my review of this. There will be links in the description. Go check it out. Like I said, 72,000 mAh. It can go from 12 volts to 24 volts. Uh, it's got a little switch on it. You can go on the website and read more of their actual details of how it works. I'm showing you from a layman's term how I use it and how it works with me. And it holds charge for a long time, everyone. So uh, I have no issues. Anyway, this is Frugal Panda. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps someone with um, that's interested in this uh, type of thing. I like them for camping. I just like to have them. They're great things to have. Everyone, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Purple Pandas out.